I know, right? Only one video yesterday? My goodness, I'm slipping. Nah, I just decided to take some time, uh, enjoy a little bit of life. <laughs> first things first, there's going to be um, some changes. I'll be doing like, sub, share, speak at the beginning and the end of the videos from here on out. Got a little advice. Hey, you should do like, sub, share, speak at two points during the video. So I'll be doing that from here on out. And, um, you know, other than that, hope all is well. And let's get into the, the story because when everyone, when the VMAs were coming to Newark, everyone was all excited. Like, oh my goodness, the Video Music Awards are coming to Newark. And I was like, you do realize this is a dying thing, right? Like, no one really cares about it that much anymore. And, well, I was right. Monday's KudoCast on MTV drew 1.93 million viewers a and a 0.9 rating among adults 18 to 49. That's an all-time low for the flagship channel, down from the previous low set last year of 2.25 million viewers and a 1.1 in the demo. The VMAs have hit all-time rating lows in each of the last three years. And this is... MTV, you know, back in the day, it used to be the rebel, you know? It used to be the edge. But that's no longer the case and when you lose that edge you lose that attention you lose that um that momentum that you once had amongst the uh the younger crowds and the younger demographics i mean there's just way more things to pay attention to as opposed to a music a music television channel that doesn't play music anymore let's see what the hollywood reporter has to say about it The on-air numbers weren't quite were down quite as sharply as in recent years, and MTV is touting big increases in social and online engagement. The Video Music Awards fell in the ratings again, but not as steeply as they had in the past couple of years or in comparison to some other recent award shows. Monday's KudoCast, okay, yeah, we already read that. The MTV telecast was off by 14% in viewers and 18% in adults 18 to 49, somewhat smaller declines than either of the past two years, when the total audience fell by 18% and 18, in 18 to 49 ratings by more than 20% each time. The awards were also simulcast on 11 other Viacom channels. Yeah, 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 yeah. The 12 network telecasts recorded a 6% drop among eight adults 18 to 49, which is a better showing at than the MTV Movie and TV Awards, Teen Choice Awards, Tony Awards, and Billboard Music Awards, all of which fell by double digits. So it's like, oh yeah, we, we fell off, but you know, we ain't doing as bad as them, two of which are also our um <laughs> our award shows. <laughs> which is like it is so hilarious. I mean, cause I want you guys to remember that all media in America is controlled by six corporations, Viacom being um, one of the main ones, which is why they had the simulcast on all those different channels, because they're all basically pushing the same thing and the same agenda. And it's all establishment, you know, because these were the ch channels back in the day, um, your VH1s, your um, Comedy Central's, BET's. Uh, that were like really niche, but they've all like, you know, uh, coalesced around this single, very left, very um, communist ish uh, uh, ideology that people just are turned off by, you know, like I say MTV, I'm recommending all networks try to uh, get Dave Chappelle do <laughs> to, to come on in some kind of creative uh, fashion. Complete viewership numbers fell for... I'm having a hard time reading this morning. This is the first article. Give me a break, guys. Compute, complete viewership numbers for all 12 channels tallies 4.9 million, also down about 6% from last year's 5.2 million viewers on 10 channels. The award ceremony also recorded big gains in social and online video views, which were up 85% year to year and a key point of emphasis in reaching the network's core young adult audience. Social engagement around the VMA is also more than doubled year to year in the month leading up to the awards, per figures from Conviva Social Insights. MTV also noted that ratings among the older demo of adults 20, 25 to 54 were up 6%, possibly owing a 46-year-old comedian, Sebastian Malaka, Maniscal, whatever, serving as host. And the, who, who is that? 
Okay, and the prominent presence of veteran music stars like Missy Elevia, who received the Video Vanguard Award, Queen Latifah, and Naughty by Nature. Uh, Queen Latifah and Naughty by Nature were there simply because it was held in uh, Newark. Make no mistake. They would be like, hey, yeah, you got you to gotta toss Newark a bone. Taylor Swift won Video of the Year honors for You Need to Calm Down, while Ariana Grande was named Artist of the Year, and Little Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus won Song of the Year for the Ubiquitous Old Town Road remix. Billie Eilish was tapped as Best New Artist. I've heard her name, but I don't know who the heck that is. So, yeah, The Hollywood Reporter is definitely putting a um, better spin on it. But in... Wait, is this the video that... Was that the video that won video of the year? You know what? No, no, no. I'm not, not interested. So, so um, yeah, the Hollywood Report is definitely putting a better spin on it. But when it comes to um, just their social standing, much like, you know, the NFL, it's on its decline. And it's on its decline because, you know, you're the establishment. And instead of um, ensuring that you maintained that uh, grip of control, you got lazy in your... Uh, in your old age there champ and so you're like oh yeah well you know we got it we've had it before we'll keep it now and that's just not the that's just not the way it works plus you've gone out of your way particularly with your decoded um series and all these other um initiatives that you put forward you're not pumping out particularly fantastic content either so you know no matter the spin that the hollywood reporter aims to put on it these award shows are as transparent as can be. It's a bunch of well-to-do, yuppie, checkbook activists that could care less about the people that they aim to entertain, you know? And that's not to sit there and say, oh, they're heartless or anything else like that. It's just that how can you care about somebody you don't know, right? So, you know, as people, like, really start to, to gain um, a sense of, of wait this is really not helping this is just distractive nonsense and particularly when you put out the type of blubber and nonsense that um they put out i mean what do you expect seriously what do you expect you lost your edge mtv and it sucks but hey life goes on and all we can do is live day by day so with that being said we're going to bring this one to an end all the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like, dislike, yeah, go ahead, do that too. I ain't scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day. Share because share is care and YouTube, bit shoot, we will see. And speak. Let me know what do you think in the comments. Do you think that um, MTV can ever get back to being, you know, to ever get back to having the type of um, uh, cultural prominence that it once had or is it all for naught? And they should probably just pack it up at this point because they don't set the standards anymore. You know, I mean, I can't tell you who particularly sets the standards, but for the most part, <laughs> nah, that is definitely not MTV. So let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next one.